G'day guys, how's it going? All right, we're doing a review. This is not a long term or a short term. I've only just purchased it, so I'm gonna give you a look at it. I purchased this for the uh, the CB250. Brody has got uh, has borrowed it for a while because he's just got his learners. He wants to be able to ride every day into town, park the bike out the front of the shops and feel a bit safe that he's not gonna have, his, have the bike lo uh, stolen when he doesn't own the bike, if you know what I mean. So this is a bit of a peace of mind. So I thought I'd do a quick review on it. Um, the six refers to the, the pin is a six mil uh, pin. It will fit into your disc brake. You, know, you have the little holes around the thing, they're six mil. I've tried it on the, the Boulevard C50, the DR650, the KLX650. It all fits on those disc brakes. Obviously, the posty bikes and the KX80 sitting out there don't have disc brakes. They're drum brakes, so they, this does not work. You have to have a disc brake setup for this to work. Right, so came in this little box here. or not, It's not a box, it's a cylinder. Came in that. You get the actual lock. This is has the added bonus of having an alarm system set in it. You get three keys. You also get this little code thing, so if you ever lose all three keys, you can ring up Covex, email them, and they'll shoot you out another one. You've got this little uh, Allen key, which is to, we're gonna go all through that to remove, to get the battery and all that kind of stuff. And you've got a little bit of instruction. Right, so um, there is a Covex Australia website. They don't actually list this particular model. They've only got like three models on there. On the American site, they list this particular one. I bought this from uh, mxstore.com.au, paid $75, free shipping. You can get it on AMA Warehouse, uh, Adventure Moto. There's heaps of websites that all sell this particular model here in Australia, um, and all for the pretty much the same price, 75 bucks. Right, now, how does this bloody thing work? Here's a close up of what it looks like. So it weighs 544 kilograms. It's apparently waterproof. So you have the locking mechanism and you have the alarm system. So that if, when this is on your bike and someone does, it, it wriggles like that, it will then set off a 120 decibel um, alarm. I've been testing it this morning. I'm really liking it actually. So, grab our key, unlock it, which way, that way, boom. So we are now unlocked. Now you can lock this with um, no alarm. So if you don't want the alarm to be set, now there may be a reason why, I don't know, you might be at, a motorcycle show or somewhere that you don't, someone, you know, where your bike's gonna maybe get moved, people might touch it or whatever, but not steal it, and you don't want the alarm going off all the time. So to do that, we just push this in halfway, hear that, and then do that. So now your bike's locked, but this, whoop, hang on, that's gonna go off, I think. Ah, what did I do wrong? Hang on, hang on, Jesus, before it goes off. Whoa. Um, what did I do wrong? Hang on, let's try that again. We'll halfway down. Let's see if that does it. I was a bit confused before. We have to wait a few, it gives you a bit of a chance to do what you're doing and then um, walk away from the bike. Yeah, so I don't know, I mustn't have done that right. So there you go. And that's also, you know, you want that pushed in. Um, when, you ca when you're carrying it in your bag, um, you don't want this going off. So if, that's, if you've left it unlocked and then, you, uh, and then it's in your bag and it accidentally gets pushed in, you'll be riding along and all of a sudden your bloody alarm's going off in your bag. So that's how you would carry it. Um, right, so let's, so you can do it without the alarm. Now let's do it with the alarm. So all you gotta do is put it on your bike. We're gonna do this on the bike, I'll show you on the bike. All you do is you lock it. I'll leave it sit there. And it should let me know. Whoa, man, that is loud. Tell you what, 
It was startling the first time I bloody did it. So that's, once it does that loud beep, that's it, you're set. So now if I move this, I'm gonna let it go, for, it goes for 10 seconds. So now it goes for 10 seconds and then it stops. Now it's rearmed again. So if I was to move that again, it will do the same thing for another 10 seconds. So it just keeps uh, re-alarming itself. So I'm gonna get ready to turn it off. Um, move it, there you go. So I'm gonna now, so by unlocking it, it then disables it. So that's really, it's a pretty simple bloody setup. Um, I'll show you it on the bike and then we're going to open this up. I'll show you the, what the battery is in there. Um, I think by the instructions they have a recharging uh, version of it. So there's obviously an internal battery. You have a cable that you USB and you can charge it up that way. This one doesn't have it. It just has a battery in it and you would have to re, uh, replace it when it runs out. I believe someone, I've seen some, it, there's no, it doesn't tell me anywhere, but uh, I believe you can get a couple of years out of it. It's a fairly big battery actually. Right, we'll go down to the C50 and uh, have a look at it on there. Right, yeah, guys, so here it is. This is the uh, Harry, the C50. So that's our disc lock. All these are six mil holes, I, I presume. You can, if, yeah, you could put it in one of those holes um, there, but your best option is in the smaller one, I presume, because they could maybe get something in, I don't know. So we just find the little hole, there you go, and that should let us know in a minute. Wait for the loud noise. No loud noise, did I stuff that up? All right, let's take that out. I think I kind of like double pressed it. There you go. Now we should get a loud noise. Whoa, there we go, right A. Right A guys, so all we, just we're gonna do a bit of a wriggle. Boom, she's gonna start going off. So, I oh, will release that. Simple as that, I didn't want to bloody get that noise going off because it is quite loud. Um, so just do that again, straight in. She is now set. We should get that loud noise to say, hey, presto, get the hell away from my bike. Or not. Why is it doing that? Where's the hole there? Boom, there you go, right, cool. So I don't know, that's, don't know why it was doing, but anyway, you just wait for that loud boom. I believe it must run on a magnet system. The outer case is not magnetic, but that there is magnetic. So let's just, yeah, it doesn't take much to set this thing off. Whoop, cool. Right, hey, let's go back to the desk. Right, oh, there you go guys, so simple disc brake lock, it works, the alarm system works, no worries. Let's open this up. So obviously you would unlock that, so it's in the unlock position. Get your little uh, bloody, what do you call it, Allen key, right down in there, and I don't know whether that's gonna, you're gonna see it, but there's a uh, little screw. We put our Allen key in there, turn that a few times. Little screw should pop out. Like that. And then this thing here, and that thing there, all pops out. So this is just a metal cover type thing which protects this plastic thing which has the alarm in it. Um, there's also a little light which shows through on the top there, so you get an audible and also a light signal from it. Underneath here, oh, underneath here is a plastic 
lid, which is a bit of a bugger to kind of like get off. Oh, hang on. It's easy when the battery's not in there. Let me get a screwdriver. Ugh. And some short lookers. Oh, for crying out loud. There we go, jeez. Peel that off, righto. Obviously makes a pretty good seal, obviously with the, um, there is the battery in there. The battery was a bit of a bugger to get in too, I must admit, because it's quite a deep, I'll try it this way. There you go, got that out. So that's the, uh, oh, what do they call it? A lithium CR2 battery, which comes with it. Obviously you can buy these to replace it when you need to. So you'll get this, that has a plastic cover on it when it comes, it's not in here when you buy it. <clears throat> Which way we're we gonna go, that way. Now because it's so deep, it's a real, you've gotta be, you've gotta put it up high. Yeah. Oh, gee whiz. <laughs> right, so we've got that in there. Put our little cover back thing on. Do this in fast motion. Make sure it's all nice. Down, grab that. Can only go in there one way. Drops in there like that. This thing goes in there like that. Get our grub screw. Whack that in there like that. Turn that a few times. Snug her down. And hey presto, we are back in action. If I push that down, that should be disarmed. And it's not. I'm pretty sure I watched the Kovac guy. He did it and I thought I did it different. He goes, go down halfway. Oh, maybe there's the two beeps. I should really read the instructions. Nah, that's bloody armed. Hopefully that's unarmed. Sorry guys, but this is, you've seen this in the real world, um, how it works. So obviously read the instructions, you most probably, I'm an idiot. There you go. Disarmed, but locked. Right, eh? So, uh, $75 is what I paid for it. It locks your bloody, oh now, this is something. Now see, you can buy the little stretchy things. Guys with motorcycles know what I'm talking about. There's a stretchy thing that goes from here to your handlebar so you don't forget and try and take off while this is on. Um, this didn't come with one of those. I didn't see an option for that. Um, but what I've got is just a gotcha strap. You could use anything. Um, and this, the gotcha strap works really well because I can just feed it through there. Lock that down. Chuck this in my bag like that. When I get it out, I go, right, cool. Take the gotcha strap off like that. Put that around my um, throttle cable, my throttle. So that's a reminder for me when I get on the bike to... Um, Remember to take that off so you don't try and take off because you'll come to a, <laughs> a screeching halt. When you're putting this on the disc brake, I'm no expert at this, but if you're wherever you park your bike, if you're going to be coming back out, like going backwards with your motorbike first, put that to the top so that it doesn't have that, you get enough momentum to go all the way around and then it goes clonk so you don't do any damage. Or if you're at the, uh, if you're going to, go off forwards, make sure it's down the bottom like up to the caliper. So it's only got a small amount of movement to then go bang and then you go, oh shit, what the hell is going on? So yeah, you could use anything, gotcha strap, whatever. Right, hey, I think that's it, 500. So it's got quite a bit of bloody weight to it, 500, so half a kilogram is what it weighs. Um, I might do a, uh, a uh, another video uh, when, you know, Brady's been using it for a while and see if there's any issues with it or, or whatever. But yeah, I mean, they're a pretty simple thing.
And remember, it's not a total safety thing. If someone wants to steal your bike, they will. there are definitely ways to uh, get around stuff like that from busting bits and pieces and bibs and bobs or, yeah, I'm not going into that. <laughs> right, remember guys, keep on riding and if you ain't riding, keep on keeping on.